Hey guys, so at the moment you are currently sat on a windowsill and this is because I haven't really got my office completely set up yet as we have only just moved house about a month ago now and that sounds like a long time but when you've got like different rooms to put different furniture in you realise just how much space you've got and that you need to fill it otherwise it looks completely empty and it echoes like hell. So at the moment you are plonked on a windowsill but um, as soon as I manage to get some form of filming setup going on, um, the view will be much better. You'll see my complete desk and all of that stuff. Last week you would have seen that background when I was filming with Wayne, but today you've got a mixture of both. So today I have a glossy box to unbox for you guys. It arrived, I think it was yesterday, but I wasn't in. So yesterday? No, day before yesterday, but I went to pick it up yesterday because um, I couldn't leave it there much longer and I wanted to film this video for you guys so let's get stuck in okay so this is um, March's box just a classic pink packaging and then on the inside you have the sneak peek of next month's box and it's a Lord and Berry crayon lipstick and then we have the little card that tells you exactly what's in the box and what each product does, but I never go through that until um, I've actually looked at everything. Also, you will see this little miss because she likes to sleep on um, my laptop case. Um, so if like we're filming here, she'll more than likely be in shot. But yeah, so inside it's the classic pink and black packaging and let's see what we have first. So. Um, let's see what this is. This is Sleek Makeup Pound, Pound? Pout Paint Highly Pigmented Lip Stain. Um, apply the tiniest drop of pout paint to your lip brush to complete coverage. For complete coverage. Can be used alone or mixed with other shades within the range. FYI, a little goes a very long way. Let's have a look. See, I'm very scared when, like, someone buys me a lipstick or if I get a lipstick in glossy box because I don't know if it'll suit me and even when I go shopping for myself I struggle to find lipsticks that suit me. Most of the time when people have actually bought me it they've been pretty lucky that it actually does suit me but um, sometimes it can be really really wrong. This one is shade is lava. Now it looks cool um, I'm guessing they're taking inspo from the Compulsive Cosmetics with their packaging. Um, that's what I think of when I look at it. And yeah, the applicator is pretty much like Compulsive Cosmetics. Let's have a look. It's like a really orangey red, which isn't like the greatest for my skin tone. But they weren't lying when they said a little goes a long way. That is literally just like the tiniest little splodge from the tube. And it's like a, ooh, there's like almost like an orangey scent to it. But yeah, I mean, it's not a horrible colour. I just don't know if it will suit me. I might wear it in a video next week and then you guys can tell me if it suits me. But it smells kind of orangey, citrusy, and it's like a glossy consistency which isn't my favourite kind of feeling in the lip area. I like it quite matte, well I like most of my makeup matte to be honest but um, I mean it's not too bad, I'll see how I get on with that one. Next we have a nail polish which is actually a very nice colour and my nails aren't done today so I may actually do this um, later on and it's a NCLA Five Free Luxury Nail Lacquer um, and it is without formaldehyde, DBP, toluene, camphor and animal testing, that's good. And it's called Like Totally Valley Girl, that's a very cool name. And it's a very nice colour. Does it have? Yeah, no! And it has your classic nail varnish scent, nothing exciting, nothing too potent. So yeah, that's a very nice colour. Nice and pink. And next we have a new Dove Advanced Hair Series, Youthful Vitality for Aging Hair, Lightweight Formula Shampoo. What are they trying to say with aging hair? 
Apply to wet hair, lather, then rinse. In case of contact with eyes, rinse thoroughly. A lightweight shampoo for aging hair helps replenish essential nutrients lost with age for soft and shiny hair with visible fullness. Yeah, I mean, I'm only 25, so I wouldn't say my hair is aging. If anything, my hair is more, um, it's oily, slightly damaged from obviously dyeing it and stuff, but I wouldn't say it's aging, so I'll probably give this to my mum. No offence to my mum, but you know, she's older than me, so. It smells like just normal Dove body wash, that kind of thing, so. I don't know, I'll see if my mum wants it and then um, we'll see how she gets on. Then next, oh, we have the conditioner that goes with it. I'm sure that smells exactly the same. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. All it. She's coming for, my mum's coming for Easter, so I'll see if she uses it when she's here and then I can let you guys know exactly how she got on with it. Then we have a Now Bay Natural and Organic Moisturising Peeling. Huh? Not quite sure what this is, but can't really smell it because there's um like a safety seal but that's what that looks like I'm not quite sure what that is so I'll be interested to read in the little um pamphlet what it is and then we have an essence lash princess volume mascara mascara for dramatic volume with an innovative cobra brush for extremely thick lashes ophthalmologically approved okay that must be good um cute packaging and what cobra? It doesn't smell like, just smells a bit plasticky if anything. What? So yeah, it's just a normal kind of fibre brush. Um, I do actually prefer, is it fibres? Yeah, um, I prefer the um, fibre brushes to the plastic brushes because it gives you more volume, but then I find that the plastic ones like separate your lashes more. Um, I'm currently using the new Benefit one, uh, the Roller Lash. Um, doesn't give a lot of volume like their Benefit Their Real mascara, but it does separate them like really, really well. Um, but I will definitely give this a go. I'm always trying out different mascaras, um, so hopefully this will be just as good. Now, if we go through what each of these products do. So the first product is a full-size product and it is valued at 1371 and it's the Now Bay Moisturising Peeling with buzzwords such as luminous and minimal bandied about by makeup artists um, backstage at the shows the spotlight is on skin this spring thankfully this organic peeling milk from Spanish eco brand Now Bay is like a start over for skin with particles from the acai tree to remove dulling dead skin cells and brighten the complexion apply to slightly damp skin and delicately massage in a circular motion we recommend very gently polishing it over the skin without applying too much pressure. So it's almost like a face peeling microdermabrasion kind of thing that you can do at home. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it if your skin is sensitive or overly dry because sometimes that can really irritate it. But I find that my skin's pretty, um, it can kind of stand up for itself. So anything that's kind of harsh, it kind of takes it quite well so um, not that this is going to be harsh but it's a peeling thing after all so um, yeah I'm definitely going to give that a go especially if like we end up going on holiday in the summer or whatever I will definitely be giving this a go because my skin just doesn't want to be my friend recently um, next is the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara which is also a full-size product and it values at £3.30 so nice and cheap every girl's makeup must have mascara gives takes you from weary to wide-eyed in one sweep, this mascara has a clever cobra-shaped head wand, head-shaped wand, which grabs your individual lash to create length and dramatic volume for inky black eyes as seen this season. Coat your lashes from base to tip by jiggling the, the mascara back and forth um, in a zigzag motion. Just in case you didn't know how to apply your mascara. Uh, next is the Dove uh, Youthful Vitality for Aging Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. As we grow, as we age, I can't read today. As we age or grow our hair longer, it becomes weaker and prone to breakage. This hydrating duo repairs brittle tresses and works to replenish lost nutrients. So hair is left stronger, sleeker and looking twice as thick. Perfect for our latest obsession with loose braids. Take time to massage the shampoo into wet hair, allowing the product to work its magic. Squeeze excess water 
from hair before applying the conditioner. Leave it on for two to three minutes before rinsing. And a full size one of these, which is 250 mil, this is only 50, uh, is £5.99. So again, pretty decent. But Boots has never been like, Boots? Dove has never been like crazy expensive anyway. So it's all good. And then the NCLA Los Angeles Polish is a full size product. And it is free of toxins. Cult brand LCLA's best-selling shade is the perfect quick dry neon pastel. For us, it represents everything spring. Colour, sun starting to peak through clouds and maybe even the chance of a holiday on the horizon. On top of a base coat, apply one thin coat in three strokes and leave to dry before applying a second coat for a party ready mani. Run your hands under cold water to take them from quick dry to speed dry. And a full size one of these, which is this one, is £13. Which is... I'd say high end because you can get Nails Inc and uh, Deborah Lippman for 11 to 12 pound. So if this isn't great quality, then they're really overcharging. But I think I've had an NCLA product before and it was really, really good. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then the last product is the Sleek Makeup Pout Paint Highly Pigmented Lip Stain. Um, ever wanted to make your own lipstick shade? Well, now's your chance. Designed to be applied softly to a lip stain, for a lip stain or liberally for jaw-breaking colour. Pout paint lets you wear it how you want. You can even mix it with another lip colour to create the ultimate bespoke shade. Shaking well before use to mix the pigment. Apply a thin layer for a satin lipstick-like finish or a thicker layer for a vibrant glossy look. So, I did quite a thick layer on my hands so it came out pretty shiny. I'm guessing if you were to just tap it on maybe and then maybe go over with a bit of tissue or something like that you'd get a lot more of a matte slash satin effect and that's it those are all the products um, only one of which was um, a sample size which was the shampoo and conditioner so that's really good um, yeah I'm pretty um, pleased with the box nothing bad um, I could literally try all of these products the only one I'm not going to try is a shampoo and conditioner just because I think my mum might benefit more with it than I will. The pout paint I will try because I'm not going to sort of knock it before I've tried it but I have had orange lipsticks before or orange shades, orange based reds and they've not really suited me because I'm of my yellow complexion. So um, I will try them and I will definitely let you know if I recommend them. Uh, I'm going to start doing monthly favourites so you may see glossy box um, items appearing again so if i've particularly loved any of these items you'll probably see them in a video uh next week on wednesday so i will leave you there and i will see you guys on wednesday bye guys